Yo, what's going on? And welcome back to Dark Souls Remastered. We are picking up exactly where we left off at this bonfire just a few moments later. Uh, we're gonna have to clear the rest of this area and get to the bottom of White Town. So, can we see it maybe off of one of these edges? Yeah, we're going all the way down there. So, we got an entire maze and labyrinth of wood construction to get through and then we'll finally be at blight town and blight town is where all the fps drops are gonna come but i think we've been sitting strong at 60 fps the entire time we'll see if that stays once we actually reach the bottom look at this kind of pot look at him God. sneak up I can't see a gosh darn thing. I just aggroed those dogs. Oh wow. We two shot these guys if we two hand. That's amazing. Uh oh. Uh, excuse you? Oh, I just knocked you off. I didn't even kill you. Jeez. What a resilient little fella. Ooh. So we've actually been here before. You might not recognize it from this. Oh, come on. Get out of my way. What do you think? Oh, I just knocked that item off. It was probably just something stupid anyways. What are you doing? Do you, do you know how ladders work? Okay. He didn't want to deal with the minutia of going down the ladder, so he just jumped. What's this guy gonna do? Same thing. We see him climb back up the ladder this time. Alright. So. That floor looks a little bit ominous. Pretty sure it just breaks when you step on. Okay. I was trying to break it and demonstrate, but before we just die. Let's, let's just not. But yeah, we were up above that ladder earlier right before we got to this bonfire. So we've already cleared everything up there. Got rid of all those enemies. Are the fire dogs down there? What's our next objective? How do we get over there? Oh, we gotta go all the way back to the top. Then we'll come out over there. Let's do that. Back to the top. And then you'll recognize this area probably. Yeah, this is where we came from. That's where we, over there is where we dropped to grab the Ayato. Um, that's where that guy shooting poison darts is. But you notice he hasn't respawned. So those guys luckily do not respawn when you kill them. Shadow gear. Unfortunately, I don't think the shadow gear will provide us with any poise. It's kind of just like ninja gear. It looks like ninja gear go with that Ayato that we found. I don't know why they're so far apart from each other, though. You know what? I'm a moron. Somehow I still forgot to start the timer. But I think we did a good enough job of keeping track of time. I know I, I kinda got carried away with putting on new gear and looking at what everything looks like. So, but I, I think we can manage. Whoop. There's some dogs down there. Where are we trying to get to right now, though? Uh-oh. Can you reach me? Can you get over here? I don't know. Is he... He's just gonna, like, appear behind me. And then I'm gonna be sad. I don't know if he can get over here or not. What is that guy doing? He is going on an adventure. You see that? He's up there now. He gave up. Jesus. That was interesting.
Please. Please. Just pay no attention to me or something like that. Hey, this guy's back. Alright, well, I'd say I didn't do a good job there, but we're alive. So your argument is invalid. We only used one asset. So... I think we got everything from over there. Oh, Jesus! Please, no. Uh-oh, we got hit by one of the toxic darts. Hmm. Can we get out of this guy's range, please? I'm just gonna walk off a cliff, aren't I? Oh, we're back to the bonfire. Okay. Pretty sure we're safe here. At least safe in the way that the guy with the darts can't hit me. Can we get, like, a backstab on you? There we go. Jeez. Calm down. It'll just respawn the next time I set it a bonfire anyways. Why you gotta be such a baby about it? Okay, so we need to figure out how to get to that guy shooting stuff at us. I don't remember how to do that. Oh my Jesus. The giant tentacle spider. Is there someone down there? What's making all this noise? Maybe it's the tentacle spider. Just slapping. He's just going around slapping. Do, 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 do. Oh, 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 I saw you. Don't think you can sneak past me. You coming? Okay. So yeah, if, if we... Do okay, I'm hearing a lot of noises that I do not appreciate. Okay, that guy does not know how to use ladders. This guy learned how to use ladders. Don't know where you came from. This guy's coming. Man, Boytown is so scary. I hate all these noises and stuff. I'm just gonna like get pushed off a cliff or someone's gonna sneak up behind me. And scare the bejesus out of me. But if we deal with everything slowly like we're doing, then we should get through here without dying, ideally. I wonder if we could throw some fireballs from up here. Nah, I don't think we need to try that. Nah, the last thing I need is to just throw a fireball. My character takes a step forward while throwing the fireball, and I fall off a cliff. That would be exactly what would happen. Oh! There's a mosquito? Excuse me? The mosquitoes can... Come over here? Get out of here. Then, oh. Stab you in the butt. Hopefully you just die. Yep. And then, get the eagle shield, which is like a tower shield of some sort. I don't think we're going to be using a tower shield, but who knows. I am using shields now, so it's not out of the question. But who knows how much strength that thing takes to wield. So, we're trying to get over... Oh, here's the ladder. Okay. Oh, no. No, no, no. What? How do you... How is this whole ladder thing so difficult for these people? I'm just 
gonna make sure we're at full as we adventure our way through the depths of Blight Town. Blight Town's just like a boring fest of go really slow or get destroyed. I hate this. Now we, oh, I can't see anything. This part sucks. Okay. Excuse you. Oh, I'm so lucky that you missed. We did it. I'm so happy that we got past that without getting thrown off a cliff. We got very close to dying there when he hit us with his giant club. Okay. So we just keep going slowly. There's an item down there. I want this item. Should I go through the mist first? There's like a ladder here, right? Yeah. So, so we need, where are we supposed to drop? Probably just right here. Boop. Mission accomplished. We got the whip. Best weapon in the game. And since we got so many essence flasks, we might as well keep ourselves healthy. Did we skip something? I feel like we skipped something. How are we already near the bottom so quickly? Maybe I'm stupid? Seems like high probability I'm remembering incorrectly. Maybe we did it? We did everything? I do want to grab the falchion just in case I choose to use that. This thing is so trolly. I always walk off this little ledge and then you can't get back, so you gotta jump and take fall damage. Okay, there's an angry guy over there. I didn't actually take fall damage. Just forget I ever said that. That was all incorrect information. I think this is the falchion right here. Oh, Jesus. You literally do like three-fourths of my bar. Yeah, there's a falchion. So, maybe we'll use that. See, because I do like fast weapons a lot. The claymore is definitely not a fast weapon. But... Claymore is obviously going to do more damage because it's a greatsword. Ooh, what is going on here? We got like a party uh, excuse you what is going on can I please like hit you there we go these mosquitoes are incredibly annoying okay we're getting there you can see the bottom from here it's right there Look, the mosquitoes just like come from the distance to fight. All they care about is fighting. I guess we'll wait for them. Okay. I hate mosquitoes. Can you just leave? Got an angry spider man right here. Oh no. 
We are stuck. Can we even get out of here? Maybe? No? How, how does this happen? Oh my. Oh no. Okay, we're good. We're good. Turns out we could indeed get out of there. Why are there so many mosquitoes? Hit them. I think they're stuck in the floor so they can't hit us back. Get wrecked, mosquitoes. This guy. Oh, Jesus. I can't hit this guy and all these corpses are stuck on me. This is ridiculous. There's another mosquito coming. Get annihilated. Alright, so we're at the bottom of Blight Town. We just gotta make it like 15 more steps to Bonfire. As you may notice, we are now poisoned because if you stand in this watery stuff, it poisons you. They really thought of everything when they made Blight Town. What are we at? We're at 60 FPS. Look at that. We're here in the depths of swamp and water effects. And we remain at 60 FPS. Oh my god, there's more of you. I'm just gonna go sit at the bonfire. Get rid of all, get rid of this poison. Get rid of all your mosquito punks. We have an extra humanity, so we'll just kindle. No reason not to, especially since we're gonna explore this entire area. And then we want to do a level up. We can get a one, a level up. Let's check what the falchion takes. Oh, so we already have the requirements for the falchion. No problem there. But it's obviously unupgraded, so the falchion does 100 damage a hit right now. Our claymore is doing like. 230 There's definitely no reason to switch to the falchion without first upgrading it so we probably won't be using it for the neck for finishing blight town but yeah up here is a chest it's a very nice chest as we approach amazing chest ahead. Still got these weird looking balder legs. I don't see how this gives us more poise than what we had on before. It's like just putting stuff around our shins gives us more poise. I just realized something really funny. I thought there was an item here. And it turns out that one of the guys we killed up top fell all the way down here and had an item and when we rested at the bonfire, it reset it. Also, we just got invaded by a man eater Mildred. Not that worried because she's an NPC. Can we? All right, Mildred. Oh, you don't have any poise, lady. Get slain. So yeah, you can see there, she couldn't take a single hit from me without being staggered, which means she has low poise. I mean, she was wearing a sack and like hollow rags, so I don't know what I expected. But yeah, if you're gonna use a slow weapon like the cleaver, you're gonna want some more poise. So you can actually get your hits off when someone with a slightly faster weapon like me and my claymore are coming at you. Do we rest again? Level up? Nah, we should probably just explore the whole area. We got 12 essence flasks. Don't think we'll run out. We should probably put some regular purple moss on our hot bar. Blooming purple moss cures both toxic and poison. Regular purple moss just cures poison, so. 
Jesus, the mosquitoes. Oh my, please. There's just another one in the background there. But we'll put some uh, regular purple moss on here. We got four. And then let's start exploring. So that right there is the elevator that will take us out of White Town once we're ready to leave. We, however, are not ready to leave. Get over here. We are going to try and find everything here. Oh, there's an angry fire spider. What are we looking for? If I remember correctly, there's a very angry man who's trying to throw a rock at me. Get over here. Let's fight. Or die trying. trying to roll his rock around. Got him. They do like to drop dung pies when they die. Whoa, there's Sparky. He's doing his rolly attack. And we'll stab him in the butt. He's done. We get the great club. What does the great club require to use? Where is the great club? What is this dragon axe? 50 strength. Jesus. Great club, 28 strength. Seems like fun. Oh, up. Oh unequip the claymore because I was trying to look at the stats uh, how much damage does this do it is a base of 380 damage it's a lot of damage so I don't know if there's any items over here do not believe so got all those rock men over there just like Mega Man get it because Rockman's Mega Man. It's the same same thing. Bad joke. Let's explore and hopefully everyone for will forget about that joke. Mm. Ooh, piece of candy. Poison mist. How ironic that I got poisoned to pick up poison mist. So here we got the slugs, okay. We one shot the slugs, so that's good. But the slugs are the thing I was talking about earlier that can drop large titanite. They also drop green titanite. So we'll be looking for a few drops while we're down here, hopefully. Just so we can keep upgrading stuff. Um, we'll circle around that way in a minute. Let's go over here. Boop! Get a one shot. And you get one shot. Oh! Yeah, we got five green titanite. They seem to drop them in stacks of five. I don't know if they drop a large titanite in stacks of five, but... Also, if you didn't know, the more soft humanity you have up in that top corner where I have two, up to ten, it'll increase your item discovery, which just increases the rate at which monsters drop items. 
So if you're farming, you want as much item discovery as possible. We're doing it. Ooh, one large Titanite. Thank you, sir. Excuse you, I'm trying to lock onto this one around the corner to the right. I don't know if you noticed, but there is a, a slug man there. Get one shot. So yeah, as you can see, being poisoned is pretty manageable. We had to drink like one or two Estus flasks while we were poisoned. Toxic, very not manageable in the same way. Your health will go down like five times faster. Also, it's slightly difficult to see if these guys actually drop items because they're so fat and the item is like inside them. So you always want to like go investigate their corpse afterwards. I don't know why the further one aggroed there. Hey, what the heck? That worked on your friend, why didn't it work on you? Just lazily moving over to the right? It's like the ultimate tactic. Oh wow. That guy was like rearing up for an attack. So it did 280 damage to him. Okay. So we made it through this area with all the sluggy people. And we got another little area of slugs. Maybe another item over here. I could like kind of see it through the top of his head there, if you noticed. So we got two large titanite. That's good for one run. And we got the five green titanite. Oh wow! Double kill. Get wrecked. And then here's one green titanite, so less than the slugs even drop. But whatever. I'll hold on to it. I don't even remember which titanite is for what. I think green titanite is like for lightning-y stuff. Holy stuff. All that jazz. So we will go up here. That wall's not illusory. But this one is... Da -da 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 -da. And there's a chest. Which has a twin humanities. And then the ultimate trick. We're offline, so there's no messages here. But probably would be an absurd amount of messages telling you that there's another illusory wall. And then we are in the Great Hollow. We're not supposed to be in the Great Hollow right now. So, we're actually just gonna leave immediately. Actually, uh, I never know what I'm doing. I think the Great Hollow is an optional area. Could be mistaken about that. I obviously have not done the Great Hollow in the remastered version, so I don't remember whatsoever. We'll light this bonfire. I don't remember if lighting the bonfire is enough for us to teleport to it later once we get the item that lets us teleport from bonfire to bonfire. Hopefully it is. I just don't want to sit down because I don't want to uh, reset all the enemies. Not that it probably matters all that much. But yeah, that is pretty much the extent of Blight Town. We killed those slugs down there. I was trying to figure out if there was more that I had missed. 
Um, they like to put items around these pillars. But I think we've just about gotten everything. That's where we came from up there. As you can see, the mosquitoes once again are slowly coming for us. We explored over there. And there's the bonfire. So, this time, we made it all the way down that stuff up there. We made it to this bonfire. And we'll rest at the bonfire. We explored all of Blight Town except for one area. We got the bonfire at the Great Hollow. We'll probably come back to the Great Hollow later if I remember. But I do think it's an optional area, so maybe I'll just forget. Whoops. Um, let's get some health. This will give us like 50 more HP, which seems pretty decent. Maybe we can survive one more hit than we could before. But yeah. I think we're done here. Next time we'll go find the boss of Blight Town and we'll fight that. But I hope you enjoyed this one and I hope to see you next time.